this video today where I'm going to be building a beautiful Italian style tapas on garlic bread, which I'll be toasting in the oven with olive oil, Italian spices, and a little bit of Asiago cheese. On top, I have cut up some onions, celery, carrots, winter squash, garlic, and I'm also incorporating plenty, plenty of fresh herbs. For this dish, I've chose thyme, and I'll be using a little bit of fresh basil as well. I'm gonna saute all of this up with some Italian sausage and use a little bit of Italian style feta cheese for the very top. After I get all of this sauteed, I'm going to show you the finished product of how it looks while I'm building it on a platter. Beautiful, delicious, and something fun to eat. After all, it is the light and sexy way to eat. Right now I'm preparing my bread with a drizzle of olive oil, dried Italian herbs, which I love to put on just about everything, and a little bit of Asiago cheese. I love cheeses, so I use a variety of different hard cheeses as accents and as a base. I'm also going to grind some fresh pepper and put a little dash of salt. Again, this is wonderful garlic bread, and it's got such a potent and strong aroma to it. It makes me just want to eat it before I actually toast it up. It smells that delicious. It makes you hungry. I'm going to take my time, and a real easy way to do time is to go against the grain. And what I mean by that is they grow in one direction, which is up. And so you just want to take it and slide your fingers down and it pops right off. It's really super simple. And you will love working with thyme because it is delicious. My kids love this. I don't actually tell them everything I put on my food because they don't need to know. They think that they don't like certain things, but they eat it all the time. But if you tell them what it is, all of a sudden they don't like it, so just don't tell them what it is. Cheese. 
on top. It's very pretty. I'm going to take a picture and put it with all the ingredients underneath my video on hotfortapas.com. So you will have the video, the pictures, and the ingredients. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of balsamic vinegar, just a tiny bit. Balsamic is very strong in nature. So in order not to ruin your dish, just put a tiny bit on there. Enough so you can taste it, of course. And, of course, a tiny bit more olive oil. Not enough to make your bread soggy, because you just toasted it. Just enough to coat everything with a little tiny bit of dressing on top. And that is my Italian-style poppets for the day. Enjoy! Thank you.